is the isolation levels module of SQL Server and in this video we will talk about the isolation level read committed. If we will use this isolation level then the dirty read problems which which is coming when using the read uncommitted problems will be solved by using the read committed uh, isolation level. But the others uh, concurrency problems uh, like lost update no repeatable reads and phantom reads may also happen in this isolation level also. So let's see the example of the read committed. When we will use this read committed, so what will be happened? The dirty read will not uh, be, be occurred. So this is the salesman uh, table. Here the salesman uh, data, salesman uh, code and its invoice and the gross value. So the first user started the transaction and the first user uh, want to update this value from 1300 to 7300 so he's uh, requested this uh, update uh, to the system and uh, it did not this transaction is going on it's not completed and during this transaction and other user uh, st started uh, the uh, transactions uh, with the isolation level read committed so he used this isolation level and he requested that uh, same uh, data which first user is updating. So he requested that uh, gross value from this, this table where invoice number is this one. When he requested, because system knows that the first uh, uh, transaction is still going on and the isolation level is read committed, so it will not return any value. It's going busy, busy, busy until the first transaction will be completed. When this first transaction is completed, then the, this it will return the result. It The updated result will be whatever the result will be th there, it will return the only when the first transaction is completed. So let's move to the SQL Server Management Studio to check this read committed isolation level which will solve the problem of dirty reads. This is the SQL Server Management Studio and here we will show the demo for the read committed isolation level which is used to uh, solve the problem of dirty reads coming in the read uncommitted isolation level. So this is our example database TradingDB and um, uh, we can use the read committed isolation level and read committed snapshot isolation level also the both are same read committed read committed snapshot are same but the uh, internal process is different read committed is using the logs to control the concurrency problems but read committed is, uh, snapshot uh, isolation level uses the row versioning to control the concurrency problems both are same but internal uh, structure is different architecture is different to control the concurrency problem so if you if you want to implement the this uh, uh, read snapshot uh, read committed snapshot isolation level we we have to change uh, alter the database and implement on the database level and uh, the, the to check this concurrency uh, level read committed we we can we will update the uh, data in the sales table let first see what is the value for this invoice which we are going to update the value for this invoice is 1300 and the first user started the transaction and um, he want to update the value for the invoice from 1300 to 7300 this transaction still going on not completed so the other user in the same database requested the same data which for first user is changing and he is using the uh, isolation level read committed. So this is the isolation level which uh, is implemented uh, now and when he want to access the, the same data which first user is changing. So what will be happened when he requested the same data? This is going busy busy system is busy because the system is the waiting for the first users to complete that transaction and when the first user will complete then it will return because it's still executing executing because the transaction is not completed so the first user rolled back the transaction the transaction is completed and then now the second user's uh, transaction is also completed and it's coming the same value which is here in this table there is no dirty read 
1300 and 1300 so the when the transaction it's when the solution level is read committed so it's waiting for the first transaction to complete and then the second it will return the uh, data to the second user for the same change so this is the read committed uh, isolation level which will solve the problem of the dirty read 